correct during my lecture or after completion of lecture it is here if you prefer to interact after completion of my presentation i think that will be uh, preferable so uh, let me finish few of the slides and then one by one just raise your hand and ask uh, 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 involved with my discussion okay that's my suggestion to all of you so let us start Uh, Ma'am, can you see my presentation? No, sir. Actually, okay. we are seeing the list of files on your uh, sorry, desktop. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I'm coming. It's not the no? Ma'am, now it is shown, na? PPT slide. No, sir. Sir, first you have to open the file, then you have to click on share screen, sir. Uh, earlier, I just did that one, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. I have opened it. Stop sharing. Now I will share again. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Something is happening. Sorry, sorry. Ma'am, now it is shown. Yes, sir. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Can I you please keep it in a slideshow mode, sir. Yeah, I am giving. Just I am giving. Okay. Sir. I think now it is. Yes, yeah. sir. It is clear, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for for a uh, few minutes, I just I uh, could not uh, manage. No problem, sir. No problem. Yeah, yeah. So um, let us start. Low cost first uh, banana propagation. You know, seed, irrigation, and fertilizer. These three basic inputs are known as three basic pillar of production. 
So naturally, for banana, seed means the planting material is the basic pillar for production. But uh, question is that this healthy planting material or seed should be healthy enough and it should be available at affordable cost because there are so many resource-proof farmers. We should be very careful that the healthy planting material, seed material should also be available at affordable cost for the farmers. But second issue is that non-availability or non-adoption of disease-free planting material is a big problem for banana. You know, tissue culture banana, there is no question. Tissue culture plant material is good enough, healthy. But what is about your availability and adoption? Only five to 10% farmers can afford the planting material in tissue culture form. And another big question is that most of the farmer in different region of our country, they grow their preferential variety. Say in West Bengal, Mortoman, say in uh, um, Kerala, it is Nindran, but availability of tissue culture form is restricted with few of the commercial variety like Grand 9. So that is another problem. And regarding the low cost conventional method, conventional method, what the practice farmers are doing, the sakar, comb, comb beads, these are low cost. But the problem is that the sakar, comb, comb beat, they may act itself as a source of inoculum. Because you know, when the sakar is detached from the mother plant, if the mother plant is affected with disease and pest, the sucker will be a carrier of the disease and pest to the new uh, plantation. So how we can handle this problem? The advanced technique of tissue culture eliminates all sucker transmitted plant, uh, disease and pest. However, tissue culture plants are going to be expensive and available only for few commercial varieties like Grand 9. And regional varieties in tissue culture form are not readily available to the farmer. Tissue culture is good, but there are two main problems. Expensive and regional variety are not available in tissue culture form. So to address this issue, the macroprogression technique is supposed to have a strategic relevance in terms of technical and economic aspects between the approaches of low cost conventional method, as well as the high cost advanced method of banana multiplication. So uh, there is high cost tissue culture and there is low cost conventional. There, between these two, we can select macroprogression technique for the comparative advant advantages. So let us uh, see some low cost technique. These low cost techniques are not good of any use of commercial banana cultivation. So for seed propagation, seed propagation, we don't use it in commercial cultivation of banana. It is only restricted for the breeding purpose or improvement of banana crop. So other low cost visited uh, uh, um, uh, propagation are, you can do it by sucker, comb, comb beads. The comb and comb beads, it is, it is theoretically possible, no issue. We can regenerate the plant, but Practically, it is not uh, 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 used for commercial banana cultivation and sucker. This is the thing farmers use very easily, low cost. But as I said, the sucker can be a source, itself can be a source of pest and diseases. So sucker, it's short sucker, water sucker. You, I think you all know we have to go for short sucker which has well developed base, the comb and the uh, tip pointed narrow leaf. The oppositely, the vigorous growth, big leaf and narrow base, that is the water sucker, we should not go for planting. And another thing we should remember that selection of the mother plant for uh, collection of sucker is very important. That uh, the orchard and mother plant should be healthy enough so that we can call it disease-free sucker. 
So as I told you, form and concrete, it is possible, but we don't need to go for it because uh, there is not in, uh, in, in commercial use. Now come to the macroprovision. It is a low cost technique, simple low cost production technique for mass multiplication of banana. This technology has been developed under ICR, ECIP on fruits. The technique is based on the concept of multiple, uh, multiple shoot induction from Latin bird of palm of a desired banana variety by removal of apical dominance and application of growth hormone. What, what does it mean? It means, you know, a palm, nothing but the underground portion of the banana plant. And theoretically, a palm will have 40 to 45 bars. Of these 40 to 45 bars, actually lower few bars, 10 to 15 bars, uh, develop into suckers. But upper bars, more than 60-70% bars, remain latent, inactive. So these inactive bars, we can activate them by applying hormone plus removal of the apical dominance. Apical, how you can remove? I will show you the photograph. Just remove of the central core of the pond. I will show you the photograph. You can understand. So this is the very basic uh, uh, theory. When apical dominance is removed, the lateral growth or lateral bars are activated. So these lateral bars actually uh, turn into your uh, as a complete plant that we can use for. Uh, uh, planting. So the operation to be carried out in low cost. Why we are uh, talking about uh, low cost technique? Because this induction of shoots, we can carry out it in low cost infrastructure. Whereas in tissue culture, we cannot carry out propagation multiplication in low cost structure. We don't need AC. It can be done in natural condition just with having some locally uh, available material, we can make some test route. And uh, for tissue culture, we need AC. Here we do not, uh, don't require at temperature control. So it is, uh, in other word, it is uh, eco-friendly and having the very low carbon footprint. So uh, this technique involves selection of sucker, suitable sucker or palm, followed by cleaning, decapitation, decortization, planting in media, shoot and root induction, and hardening. These are the four steps we have to follow. I will show you the photograph step by step. Decapitation is nothing but the uh, removal of the apical dominance by, re by uh, removing the apical part. Decortication, it is the crosswise cutting. I will show you photograph. Okay, so now come to media. You know, when we take the palm for induction of uh, activation of the uh, bark to grow into a shoot, we need rice ax or sawdust as a media for anchorage, moisture supply, and proper aeration of the root. And uh, initiation media should be enriched with vermicompost, bio fertilizer, and root hormone. The suitable media for macro production of commercial banana varieties in major banana growing in India was found to be sawdust plus VAM 30 gram, BAP, benzyl aminopurine 4 gram, and bacillus substrate 30 gram. This is the outcome of the ICAR work throughout the country. So this is the best combination of media that induce the lateral bud of palm into complete plant. We also need regulators, plant growth regulators for activation of the inactive bud for activation. Plant growth regulators like 6 benzyl purine or BAP has the role to activate the lateral buds. And for macro propagation, Umaitol recommended application of 4 ml of 40 ppm benzyl aminopurine for shoot induction and 2500 ppm of IBA for root induction. Under ICR, ACRP on fruits, 
evaluate a different type of fertilizer that is BAM, Trichoderma viridi, as well as uh, Aspirillum, Bacillus subtilis, and there are 30 gram, alone or in combination of BAP, uh, uh, in hormone BAP or IVA. The combined application of BAM, Trichoderma, uh, Bacillus subtilis are found effective for macrogulation of banana. Then now let us talk about the nursery technique. So from the previous few slides, what we have uh, discussed here, number one, one banana corn have about 40 to 45 number of buds. In fact, every leaf sheet, when a leaf come up, it, it develops along with a small bud at the end where the comb and leaf sheet join. So one banana plant have 40 to 45 leaves. So theoretically, one comb will have 40 to 5 buds. But only few buds develop into sucker. The rest of the bud remain inactive. By activation of this bud, we can get the new plant for propagation. Number two, for activation of the bud, we need a suitable media and some hormone. Among the suitable media, it is sawdust or rice ax, along with vermicompost, VAM for enrichment of the media that provides encourage moisture for the root growth and in case of hormone for activation of the buds, we need BAP, 6 benzyl amonopurine, and IBA for root formation of the new shoots. So, this is the basic thing we have discussed in last few slides. Now, let us see the this. In fact, we are <coughs> theory portion almost we have uh, in a nutshell we have covered. Let us come to practically how we will multiply if we want to multiply banana through macro production how we will do it there are four steps we have to follow step one selection treatment decoding of palms we have to maintain a mother block that is that mother block should be as much as possible free from disease and insect pest. Regular monitoring, spraying, and if any plant shows any symptom of pest and disease, they should be drawn out. They should be removed from the mother block. Because healthy mother block and healthy mother plant can give you a healthy sucker. That healthy sucker, we can go for production of healthy planting material. You know the symptom of Will disease, fusorium will. If it is shown in a mother block, that is, you cannot go for selection of um, uh, sucker, collection of sucker from that mother block. This should be done. You need some experience also. Okay. So we are maintaining a healthy mother block. Now we collected healthy sucker. Three to six month old is short sucker. Now we remove the roots and adhering soil from the sucker. Why the adhering soil? The soil may be the carrier of the inoculum of fusarium will disease. Why the root should be removed? Because the root may be the carrier of nematodes. So roots and adhering soil should be removed. And after removing, the sucker should be cleaned. And top portion, of the sucker should be removed. Now you go for treatment. Even, even hot water treatment, steam sterilization treatment can be done for few minutes, five to six minutes in hot water treatment. That will again disinfect the palms. Now your palm is ready for decortication. That is the removal of a meristem. Making a cavity of two centimeters, I will show you the photograph, then it will be more clear. So, decortation is done by removal of the apical meristem. Now, growth media and culture bed. Our comb is ready. Now, we will 
plant the comb in uh, <clears throat> your uh, culture bed or media bed so that the bird are activated to give us the new planting material. How we'll do it? We'll prepare a bed with the media on raised soil bed of convenient length, usually one meter by five meter or six meter. Or we can also do it in wooden tray of convenient size under the net house. Now we have to prepare the growth media by mixing up sawdust or rice ax. This sawdust or rice ax, it can be partially decomposed for 15, to 15 days to 30 days by uh, mixing water and covered with polythene sheet. That partially decomposed sawdust is mixed with bio fertilizer. And the required quantity, how much we need? Two kilo sawdust, 30 gram bio fertilizer, it will take down basic substance and 30 gram gram or even uh, vermicompost. So, <clears throat> so now we can get the this way we can prepare the uh, media weight at the same time for rooting from uh, this growth uh, growth media weight we will get the shoot development for rooting we need another bed that is sand bed and uh, the three to four culture bed with one same dimension of culture bed is enough. For every uh, three to four culture bed of this dimension, one sand bed is enough to accommodate the plantlets for rooting. Now come to the how we will activate the latent buds and shoot. The PR decoded palms are planted in culture bed and sprayed with BAP. Light irrigation is done at regular interval and care taken over watering should be avoided. Within 20 to 30 days, the primary shoots are formed from the latent bird or inactive bird. The primary shoots at two to three leaf stages are decoded and by doing the juvenile mini stem and giving about four cross cut on the young stem, followed by application of BAP. And in this way, we can get the secondary shoot from the primary shoot. Similarly, decapitation on the secondary shoot to induce the tertiary shoot. When the tertiary shoot attain a growth of 10 to 12 centimeters in height with three to four leaves, and at the base of this tertiary shoot, you can see the visible root primordia. At this stage, the titrating shoots are separated from the comb. It takes 50 to 60 days from planting to comb to separate from tertiary shoot. Within two months, you can get the tertiary shoot. Then you have to go for root induction. So if you compare with tissue culture, the similarly, the subculturing and uh, adding, first adding your uh, hormone shoot proliferation, and then again, maintain the ratio for root induction. Similarly, here we will do that thing at uh, normal condition, at normal atmosphere. So we got the tertiary shoot with preformed root primordia at the base. So this basal portion of the separate tertiary shoot to be treated with IBA. IBA is, is a root hormone that induces the root and we will plant it in the, after IV treatment for five minutes in total treatment, we will plant it in the sand bed. Within 10 to 15 days, root will form and uh, the plant are ready for planting in the packet for hardening. So we, for hardening, we have to prepare another hardening mixture that is garden soil, sand, FYM or vermicompost, one is to one ratio. This mixture will fill up the polythene packet with this mixture and uh, rooted plantlets will be planted in packet. After planting, the packets are kept under shade, 50 to 75% shade for 30 
about 30 days or even more than that with frequent live irrigation. So this is the very simple hardening process of this because plants are already acclimatized in the normal weather. So hardening is very easy compared to tissue culture process. Air hardening is very easy. The hardened plants this way are ready for planting in the main field. The total time required for three to four months from starting from the collection of sucker and plant ready for planting, it is three to four months. Obviously, during when the temperature is low, then it will take some more time. And during the summer and, uh, and uh, rainy season, within three and a half months is enough to get the plant ready for planting. So now let us uh, see, theory portion is covered. Now you see the, this is the comb. The, you can see the movement, anyone response, any one of the participant, please response. Can you see the movement of my cursor? Yes, sir. Anyone participant, please respond. Anyone? Anyone participant? Dechan? Shongwai Dechan, can you hear me? Oh, anyone? Okay, I can see someone. Any participant can respond? Any participant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, what are you, ma'am? Your name, please? Anusha, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, can you can you see the movement of my car shirt? Yes, sir, it's visible. Yeah, so my point is that you see this is the central core of the corn. In left side, here the ap apical meristem is there, and here it has been removed by scooping. So that this in, in, in a corn, there is an apical meristem. If it is there, the lateral bud will not develop because it will have apical dominance. But our intention is to the bird here, 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 the circular way there are 40 to 45 birds. Our intention is to induce these birds. That's why we remove this one. It is called decortication, decapitation. And we also maintain some this cross cut because if water is accumulated here, the form will uh, decompose, rotate. And uh, that's why this cross cutting. If they are accumulated, actually naturally water is come out here. There is so many water in the form and it will fill up with water and the drain out from here. And this portion will be dry and, and the lateral water will grow. After that, we need to treat it in nematicide, fungicide, whatever. So that even after uh, cleaning of the comb, we, we treat it to avoid any kind of any chance to avoid any chance of inoculum to carry out to the bed, culture bed. You see the bed on, on raised soil, raised bed soil, we have added this media and planted the comb, treated comb. 30 centimeter by 25 centimeter. And um, then we will again, after placing this one, again we will give here more media so that this portion up to the uh, corner that is covered and um, within uh, 20 to 30 days, the primary birds are induced. After the primary birds are there, within two to three leaves, you can see two to three leaves are there. We will again remove the apical meristem. You know, there is an apical meristem in this sucker. But similarly, even in, in this small shoot, there is an apical meristem at the central portion. So we have to remove 
is apical meristem of this small shoot also so that there are so many bars here that will again activate to give the secondary shoot this is primary shoot now we are removing apical meristem of the primary shoot you see the apical meristem has been removed from the primary shoot what will happen here there is a bud here there is a bud here there is a bud if we apply hormone this bud will be activated and again shoot will come so we started with one pump we got three to four primary bud this pump over here we will get one two three four one two three four one two three four so three into four twelve that means starting with one pump we are getting twelve number of shoot up to the secondary you see these are the secondary buds from one primary bud from here from here or from here when we get the secondary we get this number of shoots <clears throat> here you can see i think uh, 10 even 15 if we on an average if you got it as a five so from one sucker we got three primary shoot from three primary shoot we got three into five 15 secondary shoot. Again, we will go for decapitation of the secondary shoot. These are the secondary shoot. From there, we will get the tertiary shoot. At least multiplied by 1, 2, or 3. That means 30 to 35, even 40 shoots we will get from one pot. Now, this is the tertiary shoot. You can see the small root primordia. Small root primordia is there. You separate it with a small bit of corn because if you cut it here, you cannot get the plant because your root primordia actually at the junction of the corn and the shoot. So you have to cut along with part of the corn, otherwise, it will not give you the next plant. So you got the shoot. Now here is the IBA solution. You just treat it, the basal portion with IBA solution. And this is the sand bed. <clears throat> you just go for planting in the sand bed. Sand bed because it will, uh, it will give very good development of the roots. So you plant it in the sand bed. And within uh, 15 to 20 days, there will be huge fibrous root. Sorry. Any, any, anything? Okay. One. Uh, Rohit, do you want to say something? Otherwise, you please mute. Within a few minutes, we'll complete and discuss. Yeah. So, you can see, I will sh show you how the roots are developed. This is a, in the um, sand bed for root induction. You have the grand lines, and these are the Mortuba, two variety. Now you can see how the roots are developed. Okay. 30 days, 60 days. Within 30 days, these roots are there, and uh, and this portion of root is enough for uh, ready for transplanting in the main field. So after this, uh, you get within thirty days. Thirty days is enough. Even in twenty days, you can go for packeting because root development is enough there within twenty days, and you go for packeting with uh, packet mixture and keep it under shade net for about 30 days and then the plant will be ready for planting so you can see here so we are we are doing some demonstration on field demonstration with kvk and uh, 
other participants are there. So these are the planting we are produced at uh, Gandhi Center and uh, for distribution among the farmers. And you can see the planting material is going by truck and this news quantity developed by the your lacto production technique and distributed to the farmers. So now question is that what is the multiplication rate? Uh, as I told you, we started from one one form, we got three primary shoot. From three primary shoot, we will get three into at least five, 15 secondary shoot. From each secondary shoot, we will get two to three number of tertiary shoot. So again, three into five into two, 30. So from one comb, we can get 30 number of plant. And if we go for 1,000, considering at least 20, so we can easily calculate 20,000 we will get. And this is enough for as a small business for banana uh, healthy planting material. So from I say, uh, AIC Beyond Fruits, what we got from out of the experiments, we have uh, this another experiment in genotypes. You know, triploid genotypes are more responsive to macropropagation technique. And 11.65 uh, to 27.35 shoots for new plant was uh, we got from one corn. But diploid genotypes are less responsive to artificial induction of shoots. It is below 10. So fortunately, all the commercial banana variety are diploid genotype and there is a chance of getting more number of Indus shoot through macroproduction from the, from the commercial varieties. Now another question is the, what is the cost of multiplication? Because this is the single most factor that will determine of the adaptability and acceptability. Acceptability will depend on the kind of variety, but adaptability is cross factor, is a price factor. So what we found that the cost of production was rupees 1.90 for grade nine and 3.60 for Bagda variety. And with the average cost is 2.85. That means within three rupees, we will get a healthy plant. Okay, it is not compared with the tissue culture with respect to its uh, you know, healthy certificates, but farmers can do it themselves with the costing of three rupees per plant. This is very interesting. So you can see this is the natural suckering habit for deployed. You can see the total number of sucker, natural suckering is very low. For deployed, suckering is more and induction by macro propagation for deployed is more. All the deployed variety is giving more number of induced variety uh, shoots. So now come regarding the field performance of macro plant. These also the, uh, based on the results of EISAR and one experiment done at BCKT, growth yield and return were compared for the plant of both banana varieties raised from macro production, sucker and sugar gel. Plant raised from sucker took more time than macro propagation, plant for flowering maturity and crop cycle. That means macro plants are early and uniform flowering. When the plants grown from macro and tissue culture came into flowering and, and harvesting almost at the same time. That is regarding flowering and protein, that is called crop duration, almost similar for macro plant and tissue culture plant. But when you go for sucker conventional method, Apart from as a source of inoculum, it will take more time for harvest. The bunch and yield of macro plant and tissue culture are also almost same. 
first of plant brain, but the main factor is that is you, if you compare with tissue culture, the main factor is the cost of planting material. You know, tissue culture plant, it will cost more than 10 rupees, more than 15 rupees. But cost of macroprotective plant is always below 10 rupees. So it makes a huge cost factor because for <laughs> one... <laughs> Excuse me. We talking? Please. Anyway, so cost is a factor. If you go for planting two by two meter by two meter, it will need 2,500 uh, plant. And there is savings of cost in planting material by five rupees one. You can calculate. It's a huge amount for the farmer. So, cost of planting material of tissue, uh, macroprotein and tissue culture is a factor for its adaptability. Uh, you can see here, Sakkar macroprotein plant, tissue culture plant. They taken almost same. In Sakkar, it is more. And maturity is non-significant. Only the days of flowering is important, for what is less in case of macroprotein and tissue culture. Bunch weight is higher in case of tissue culture and macroprotein plant. Yield also higher. Now, the return. What is the benefit cost ratio? How the farmer benefited? You know, see the cost of planting material. Uh, for sucker, it is very less. For macroprotein, it is rupees seven. For tissue culture, okay, this price based on the because you know it is the research work done five years back, so price are a little bit now the actual price is a little bit higher. So, sucker, if you consider the tissue culture price is more, and cost of planting material naturally will be higher because number of plant it it will require. 2,500 to 3,000 plant per hectare. So income from sale is this, and naturally the return to the former will be less in case of sucker and also in case of tissue culture because the cost of planting material, if you calculate the benefit cost ratio, the cost, this cost of planting material have a huge bearing on the return, ultimate net return, which is more in macroprotein plant. Uh, now we can see the growth. You know that this is macroprotein, this is macroprotein, this is sucker. Growth of sucker plant is less than the macroprotein plant. Another thing you can see here, the, the uniform bearing, shooting uniform. Bounds uniform, uniform flooding from macro propagated plant. This is very unique feature because for commercial banana cultivation, this is required. So, now what is the special feature of this macro propagation technology? Additional yield and monetary benefits to farmers. This is a uh, special feature of this technology because you can see the yield is increased when you go for uh, macroprotein planting material. When you use macroprotein plant, you will get additional yield. Additional yield, nothing but the additional return. So you can get additional return by using macroprotein plant. So this is the main features of this technology. If you go for macroprotein plant, in place of sucker, you will get additional yield and additional income. That is good for farmers. Here you can see in a brief, this is the macroprotein plant. You know, this is the induced plantlets. And this is the starting point of this plant, this is the sucker. 
in case of bunch weight for macrocoated plant it is higher for sucker raised plant it is lower bunch weight is lower in sucker naturally if bunch weight is higher your benefit ratio is higher and flowering advancement it is early flowering it is late flowering if flowering is early it will give you some advantage and now what we can conclude the healthy planting material is the key issue of commercial banana cultivation conventional method of production such as sucker corn combits are not suitable for considering chance of <clears throat> dispersal of insect pest disease inoculum tissue culture banana is well established and commercialized seed system for many banana growing countries although coverage on the tissue banana is still lagging behind conventional sucker macro propagation technology is suitable for low cost mass multiplication of healthy banana uh, healthy planting material of banana it is simple but skill based technology so with this we acknowledge and support in indian council of agriculture research icr icr to our fruits icr nrc for banana and acu based center of icr icr to our fruits namely the aravadi bhubaneswar gandhivi jalgaon jorhat kanada kovu mohanpur and pusha centers all the center of icr to fruits are involved in this macro production experiments and development of technology with this thank you everyone uh, now we can uh, we can start the time okay i think ma'am ma'am snehulata ma'am yes sir yeah yeah, yeah. yes sir yes sir can you can you spare five to ten minutes for discussion it is ah, yes sir you will it is 5 pm already yes sir so, i think students that, if you have any doubts please post in chat box yeah okay i will let me check the chat box yes sir let me just type check there is any post now working it is basically you can see okay as such there is no uh, no point of discussion ah. from chat box uh, anyway if 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 anyone uh, can Raise any 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 doubts or ah. any point of clarification? I I I welcome that one. Please, we can. Students, discuss. if you have any doubts, please please ask or post in the chat box. sir one question yeah 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 tissue culture cost you know tissue uh, tissue culture cost tissue culture cost for grand nine it is now 15 rupees minimum in in our west bengal hmm 15 to 20 rupees of minimum per plant maybe uh, fres 15 rupees throughout the country i don't think uh, you can get a tissue culture plant Below fifteen rupees anyhow. However, as you can uh, you can uh, get a sucker uh, from <clears throat> your own source, just only the uh, collection cost. It is five rupees to six rupees. But we cannot go for this sucker. Now the option is that you can go for is a easy technique macro propagation. <clears throat> so we we will encourage the farmers that you go for. produce your own planting material by macro propagation and it will cost only 6 to 7 rupees per plant rate so if tissue culture is 15 rupees and macro propagation is 7 rupees you know almost double <clears throat> so one more question if there <clears throat> I think uh, 
Uh, okay, uh, for, for the student, I, I will provide one, one lecture material. Actually, that is the compilation of some research findings from EICRP on proofs and some publications. Uh, that 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 compile material I will share with the Dr. Binay sir, so that uh, it can be circulated among you. And uh, even even after that, if any query, you can be in touch with me, contact me through my mobile and email. Uh, uh, Binay sir, if there is no, I think there is no more question or no more no more point of clarification. If so, we can call it a day. Shuzata ma'am. <coughs> sir, thank you so much, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, now I request uh, Dr. Vinay Kumar Reddy to please propose a vote of thanks. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, on behalf of Organizing Committee, College of Horticulture, Venkatramana Gudam, yeah. it is uh, my privilege to extend my heartful thanks to Dr. Sanjeev Devanath, sir, uh, about giving a good lecture on low-cost banana propagation techniques. Sir, you covered very effectively and uh, very elaboratively explained all low-cost conventional propagation techniques and methods adopted in banana like suckers, com, combits and role of plant growth regulators in banana propagation. Nursery techniques, you clearly explained, sir. And uh, uh, especially diagrammatic presentation is very good, sir. That was um, well understood by our students. And uh, uh, with this, I will very much thank you for accepting our invitation and giving a good lecture on this topic, sir. And I also express my sincere thanks to all participants, especially students and all the staff members from different stations and colleges. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. We should have. Thank you. <laughs>